I found this place on Harvest Host, but it came for the corn maze. Shelby, you enjoying the corn maze? How about you, Wes? You enjoying the corn maze? That's not a way to go. Well, welcome to Latkins Farm. Came here for the corn maze. And this also happens to be a harvest host. I'm gonna tell you all about it. I've already noticed they've got clues in here. Like they have all these questions and you can get the answers to them. And they're on these, oh, big red poles, see? So you can kind of cheat. <laughs> Just keep heading for the big red poles. Oh, that's the answer to number four. How long was the Ichthorus, which is a form of platypus, which lived in this area during the Triassic period? Shelby, you are a terrible, that is not the way to go. Come here, look at this nice big trail. Why do you wanna go over there? Come here. If you ever get lost, you do not want Shelby as your trailblazer. <laughs> she takes after me and goes the wrong way all the time. I see another red pole. Come on. We gotta get to that red pole. Hmm. Okay, we're not hugging the outside anymore, Shelby. Shelby, listen to what the lady told us. Hug the outside. We got advice on how to cheat. <laughs> I thought we were totally lost, but we found it. Number five. Other than the hearts of gold cantaloupe, what else can Fallon, is Fallon famous for shipping across the country? Fallon turkeys. We're doing so good. Number six. All 50 U.S. states have dairies. What percent are family owned and operated? 97%. Now we're up to number seven, outer space. If two clean pieces of the same metal touch in space, what happens? Okay, we gotta go find pole number seven to get the answer to that. According to my map, Oh, we want to stay on the outside till number seven, she said. Okay, stay on the outside edge. I'm starting to get discouraged, but we found it. You found it, Shelby? Okay, the answer is the metals fuse together permanently without the use of heat. Cold welding. All right, now at seven, we go inland. So let me see, if that's seven, then we go across. Here, shall we go across? Oh, you hear things in there? Come on. You still there, Wesley? <laughs> I see the next pole. Okay, how do we get to it, Shelby? Go over it, go this way. That's nine. We missed eight. Hold on. Where was eight? Okay, well. We gotta backtrack, I think, and find eight. Okay, so we somehow got out of order here. So let's play Jeopardy. The answer is male bees. Drones. Do, 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 do. And the question is, which bees do not have stingers? Male bees. Drones. Okay. Now we gotta figure out what happened to eight because we missed it. Number 10, which jazz pioneer came to prominence in the 1920s? Do, 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 do. The answer is Louis Armstrong. <laughs> okay, now we gotta figure out where number 11 is and if there is an 11. Nope, that was it. There was 10. Now, I get that I missed a whole bunch on the front end, so. Maybe I can go back and find them again. 
and we missed one completely. We missed number, I think number eight. We, we blew that one. Maybe we'll just Google the answers to the few that we missed. Oh boy, Stairs and Wesley. I gotta put the camera down because Wesley has an aversion to stairs. Can I get you to do them? Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, good boy. Come on, old guy. Come on, old guy. Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you come? Come on. All right, you need my, yeah, you can do it. Come on. No. Oh, look how pretty. Okay, I gotta put the camera down and help my old guy. You know, he's a rescue, so I don't know his exact age, but he's at least 14 years. Because I've had him for 12, and they told me he was two. And apparently at his age, he don't do stairs anymore. Okay, sweet man, let mama help you. <laughs> you gonna try? I love you, Wesley. Oh my God, oh my God, it's a miracle. <laughs> he did that himself. Come on, Wesley. Come on, you can do it. He got tired of waiting for me to get untangled from Wes, from Shelby. Come on, little man. Come to mama. Come on, can you do it? I was gonna help you. Come on. Wes, man, can you do it? I thought it was a miracle. Come on, Happy. All right, I'm coming for you. So guess what? We didn't miss the first two. It's because the first two are located in the smaller maze. And since now we're experts at this one, it should be really easy to find number one and number two. Let me tell you what the two questions are. And apparently eight is the hardest one and it's in the middle of the maze and we're not going back for that one, so we missed eight. Okay, so here's number one. What is the name of the sea serpent in Walker Lake? We're gonna be going to Walker Lake State Park. Uh, who sometimes swims in underground springs to Pyramid Lake. Okay, so that's, we're gonna get the answer to that. And number two is about pirates, which is the theme of the day, but I didn't dress up for it. Is who led the most successful pirate fleet in history? All right, think on those two and we're gonna go find the answers. I see the pole, do you? I came out early. We were the first ones in the maze, but we aren't anymore, so. Now we have company. You ready for the answer? His name is Cecil, Cecil the Serpent. Ooh, I'm gonna have to do some research before we get to Walker Lake so I can tell you all about it. You ready to find out who the most famous pirate in all of history is? Never heard of him and don't know how to pronounce it. Zhang Yi Sao also known as Shi Ching Shi. Her, her, her fleet operated from 1790 to 1810 near the South China coast. Well, that's interesting. Go back under the bridge. This is the way out. Oh, that was so much fun. I love these things. And I love that we got in, got out before everyone else started showing up. I like it when it's just me, you, and the dogs. Hi, corn maze. Did I mention that this place is also a harvest host? Although I'm not staying here, they've got RV parking at the far end of their parking lot. But I'm splurging tonight and staying in a proper RV park and that way I can do laundry, I can dump, I can fill. I think they even have propane there. It's chore day so I'm off to Walmart next but you don't have to go anywhere. Please don't forget, I still need so much help with my watch hours. So here come the dogs and two videos picked just for you. See you next time.